Hello, my name is Andrew Kozlowski. I'm a geologist with the New York State Museum and the New York State Geological Survey. Today I'd like to show you a video that was graciously donated to the New York State Museum. This is drone footage of the April 20th Norman Side landslide along the Norman Skill River in Albany, New York. This video displays a very common naturally occurring phenomena in many locations but particularly here in the Northeast and in the Albany area. This video documents a very large landslide that occurred that actually led to the blockage of the Norman Skill River. The landslide was several hundred meters across and several hundred thousand tons of earth material has been displaced. The landslide occurrence along the Norman Skill River is nothing new. Many of these landslides have occurred over periods of time and most recently 2000, 1982, and 1968 also had landslides that occurred along the Norman Skill River. These landslides are the result of the ice age that happened here in the Capital District. Roughly 14 to 16,000 years ago, a very large lake occupied the Capital District, and all of Albany, parts of Schenectady, and Troy were all submerged under hundreds of feet of water in an expansive lake known as Glacial Lake Albany. Waters coming in the Mohawk River carried sediment, and the sediment dispersed throughout this lake. As it moved further out into the basin, fine-grained sediments such as silt and clay blanketed or draped over the landscape. This happened for an extensive time to the point where there are in places hundreds of feet of these fine-grained silts and clays. The lake existed for several thousand years. However, once the lake drained, the floor of the lake was now the new land surface that was exposed. The land surface then began to adjust to the new levels of water that occupied the Hudson River. In response, rainfall and snow and precipitation in the landscape gradually carved new channels or river channels through these clay and silt deposits. The Norman Skill River is an example of this river that is incised or cut down through these clay and silt deposits. Landslides that occur in this area are the result of sort of a delicate balance in physics between gravity, which is a driving force, and friction, which is a resisting force. During the spring of the year, often with heavy rains or snow melt, the ground becomes saturated and the water acts as a lubricant to sort of push apart grains it increases something called the pore pressure in sediments. Additional weight up on top of the hillside due to saturation also leads to more weight and more driving forces. This often results or leads to adjustments of the hillside, landslides, mudslides, or slope failures. All of these terms are used to decide or describe landslide phenomena. In this case here from the drone footage, we can see the large scar coming down and the debris that has blocked the Norman Skill River leading to a ponding situation and a declaration of emergency by the county executive. As the landslide blocked the river, the river began to back up or increase ponding upstream from the landslide. Workers quickly worked for 16 hours or so with heavy, ex heavy excavation equipment to cut a relief channel to restore flow of the Norman Scale River and prevent a catastrophic drainage event. You can see the clubhouse for scale and several cars, including a couple of individuals walking at the top or the head of the slide. And as you can see from the footage, the tow completely blocks the Norman Skill River. So we stand here and we're looking at the vintage, this, this point from the drone footage, you can see large blocks of sediment and whole tree masses that have rotated. This is a rotational failure. Landslides and mudslides can happen in a number of different types of movement. On the clay steep banks that exist on the Norman Scale River, these failures often rotate backwards with telephone poles or trees leaning uphill, indicating the direction of motion as being rotational. Sometimes the masses move down in a translational movement as just a solid block. From this perspective, you can see the ponding of the water backing up behind the landslide mass. And as we pan out over the landscape, you can see rugged terrain that's adjusted to the overall 
incision by the rivers that are taking place with time. So over the last 10,000 years, here's the capital in the background, the Empire Plaza. Over the last 10,000 years, this landscape has come into equilibrium after the Ice Age, and the hills have adjusted. But as streams erode the bottom of the hills, and we have heavy precipitation events, such as tropical storms and hurricanes, the hillsides can become unstable and simply want to readjust in this balance of physics. Landslides, slope failures, and mass wasting are not new phenomena. They occur all the time across New York State, but often are poorly documented. Most of them occur are under two acres in size. We estimate that somewhere between 100 and 400 landslides occur annually in New York State. The history of glacial geology and the legacy of the Ice Age in New York State will continue to produce these naturally occurring events that are sometimes spectacular and sometimes lead to disastrous results. 